morning provided me with a welcome respite from the evening holiday crowds. This is my second morning in Vietnam. Drinking a nice cup of coffee. On the eighth floor, the top floor of the hotel. It's a nice open air restaurant. You can see pretty far. And what's interesting about like most restaurants in Vietnam, ashtrays on every table. There is no such thing as a no smoking section, it seems like, every place I've gone. You just light up. Now, I suppose that's not desirable for some people, but the thing is, is so much of the buildings that are open air that it really doesn't matter. Big open windows right here. Lovely. Nice. It's a nice morning. And uh, got a nice bowl of hot pho. I gotta say, I'm enjoying myself. And the coffee, the coffee in this country is to die for. Seriously. Mm. It's strong. It's, it's got a wonderful taste. Very dark, rich. I don't know. I, I, I might decide to live in Vietnam just for the coffee. And I have to say, it's probably as good as Indonesian coffee. I spent the day enjoying some of the sights. This old French colonial stuff reminds me a little bit of New Orleans. The, uh, Kind of that Georgian, Parisian look. Oh, wonderful. And experiencing the wonder of Saigon traffic. All right, you ready to cross traffic? flows like a river around here. And you just kind of, kind of, like, be like a rock, let it flow around you. But it can be intimidating, I'll grant you that. Of course, the good thing is that the traffic drives on the right side of the road, like the United States and Western Europe. Unfortunately, their ideas about how traffic should flow is not anything like States or Western Europe. Yet. In this city, I found places to relax, as I do in any city I visit. I spent a few days in the city. Unfortunately, not enough time to get a comprehensive understanding of it, just a taste. It's the largest city in Vietnam, and from what I could observe, it was just as active and cosmopolitan as cities like Bangkok or Mumbai. Looking at Saigon now made me wonder, what was it like 25 years ago? How much has it changed since then? Hopefully, more for the better rather than for the worse. My name is Caleb, and this is Saigon, Vietnam's Shanghai. hotel is right next to the waterfront, as you can see, and um, 